Well, I had a great ride from Colorado to Idaho and then back again. As you can see, my trip set at 1,862 miles is the total distance I rode during my road trip to Idaho and back. So now I'm going to take the filthy dirty bike to the car wash. Well, it's a pleasant 74 degrees today. Yeah, I don't know how well they, uh, it's going to show up on camera how dirty my gold wing is, but uh, I really want to get all these bugs off of it. I didn't wash it once during the entire road trip. Didn't have the time for it. Today is May 29th, Sunday. Uh, I hope the car wash is open. Okay, I've arrived at the car wash. The car and pet wash. Well, didn't bring my pet with me, so I'm not going to have to wash uh, Marley or Pearl. You can see how dirty the bike is here. All the bugs on the windshield. I'll see if, how I can get this stuff off of here. Doing the pre-soak right now. I never let the on high pressure mode get very close to the bike. I don't want to power I mean, rip off the paint with the pressure. Now for the pressure wash. You'll notice that I'm not getting right up next to the body paint with the nozzle. High pressure rinse. Hopefully I'll most of this soap off of here. Now for the spot free rinse. I like using the spot free rinse. Uh, get all the minerals off of this. Now for air dry. I don't think a pet would like this air dry. Make sure I air dry the seat so don't have to get a real wet butt going home. Looks like it cost me uh, $11, but I haven't washed it in about a year, so I sure needed it. I think I'll take the long way home to dry off the bike as I'm driving along. A little bit careful after 
going in and out of those stalls, your feet might be really wet, the soles of your shoes. And you come to a stop and you don't want that slipping out from underneath you. So be aware of that. I did enjoy my road trip of 1,862 miles. And I'm fully rested and ready for another road trip. But I don't have one planned for the month of June. I'll basically be just riding around Colorado then and not leaving the state. 